Ugh, Melissa, I don't think this is working. Oh, never mind. It is. The Malena female that was with you that night. Where is she? Uh, which night are we talking about again? There's so many nights, and I don't know what you're talking about. Don't toy with me, boy. I want to know where she is. You looking for me? Here I am. You want me, don't you? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, now it's my turn to ask questions. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything. The dead master will soon rise and destroy everything. Ah! What? Melissa? What? You heard him. He said he wasn't going to tell us anything. Or were well, you were enjoying his little speech, because I sure as hell wasn't. Well, Melissa, what's the plan now then? Hmm. Maybe I can disguise myself with his clothes and try to see if I can find out where he came from. Uh, except there's only one problem. You're a Molina. Might be a little strange if a dead scavenger has angel wings. Ugh, you got a point. How about you put on the costume, and you just try to find out where he came from? Ugh, it's so hot in this thing, and it's very itchy. <laughs> Trust me, Lucas, it's gonna get a lot worse once you're fighting zombies. <sighs> well, that's just perfect. Anyway, wish me luck. I'll try to be back as soon as I can. And hey... I'll be waiting for you, and try not to die. I'll try not to, Melissa. You should be asleep, Ben. So should you, Dad. <laughs> if only. A lifetime of wielding enchanters have had certain effects of my health. It can make people like us do stuff that we normally do not do. Like me not sleeping normally, not getting enough sleep at all. You'll see, one day, when you wield a lot of enchanters like I have in my time. Dad, did you want to fight in the Great War? <sighs> no, Ben. Well, actually, I kind of did, so there would be a greater cause and to save innocent lives. They call it the Great War. But very few things about it was great, except for all the inconceivable power that we've used. <sighs> and the Nidarians? The Nidarians were nearly brought to extinction. All of our clans were nearly brought to extinction, especially the Anoris clan. So, were you friends with the Free Willer, Dad? Yes, the Free Willer and I were great friends. He called us a great duo when we fought in the Great War together. But people had questioned him, and they were very suspicious and paranoid around him, because they wondered how an Anaris can fight against their brothers and sisters when they're in the same clan together, and fighting against the Great War. But many people had trusted him, like me, and he wielded a lot of enchanters. He was the greatest enchanter wielder I have ever known. But the Nidarian clans didn't care whether the Free Wielder was an Anaris or not. They were just glad that the Great War was finally over, and they thought that was all that matters. And they were also kind of glad that one of Norris was able to make a difference compared to his brothers and sisters, since they were all evil and they were involved in the Great War. His real name was Kaljar Nars. People really liked him, but people were confused of how he died from the Death Wielder. And people don't know who killed who, because they both died alone when they fought together in the Great War. It's a mystery that lives on ever since 104 years ago. When an Iderian dies, and when they have wielded their enchanters, the power from the enchanters leaves their dead body, and are transferred to someone else. To whoever, it depends on their family or their friends. Dad, do you know what ever happened to Mom? Your mother was killed by the Anaris. And you were the only one of your brothers and sisters I could save. It was supposed to be me that died, that way your mother could live, but the Anaris clan mostly focused on her. And I was too busy trying to fight off the other Anaris, not letting me be able to save her and you. She ran off from our village, and she kept you safe in her arms when you were still an infant. But she was surrounded and outnumbered, and there's no way she could have fought them all off by herself. So she hid you, and she let the Anaris clan follow her and to keep you safe while you were hidden. And I don't know what ever happened till that day, 
but I assumed that she died sacrificing herself to keep you safe. And that was when I found you. And I found out and I found trails of and footprints of your mother. And I couldn't find her at all. And I assumed that she died. You were the youngest of your brothers and sisters. And yet you're the last one. And after that, that's part of the reason why you and I are the last of our clan. Oh, I know this is not what you wanted to hear. But it's like what my father would always say. Ain't it ever hurt or affected you in the past. Just keep it in the past, and just move on, and not let it hurt you any other way, and just don't let it stop you on what you do best. But a lot of people have refused to move on ever since the Great War, since so many innocent lives have been lost. And I don't know how I can move on since my clan is almost brought to extinction by the stupid Anaris clan, and that my family was almost lost, and now that you and I are the last. I understand. Thank you for finally telling me. Hey, huh? Heather, what are you doing here? Hey, Talia. Sorry for disrupting your rest. I just need someone to talk to. It's alright, Riley. You know you're always welcome to talk to me. We're best friends, you know. It's been so long ever since we've seen each other. Why don't you stay for a bit? After your rest day, you can go back to what you were doing. <sighs> Thanks, Talia. I don't know what I'd do without you. So, Heather, how did Mr. Clint have the nerve to let you leave? Um, he didn't. I just left him. <laughs> Finally, I don't know how you managed to live with that guy. He may be a strict old grouch, Talia, but he has looked out for me ever since my parents died fighting the Great War. I just can't forget that. Yeah, I guess you got a point. So anyway, why are you really here? And what's with that bow? Oh, right. So basically I came to tell you about a certain something about a little egg or stone. When Jess and I were out hunting, Jess was barking at something when I was trying to hunt down and kill a bunny. But then it turns out that he was barking at some sort of egg. Or is it a stone? I just get it mixed up a lot. And then one time when I was sleeping, two thieves had knocked out Mr. Clay and I fought the two thieves trying to steal the stone or the egg from me. And then they knocked me out and they got away with it. And now, since I'm a hunter, just like Mr. Clint is, I'm gonna have to try and hunt them down and get the egg back. I don't even know what they wanted for. Okay, first of all, Heather, I don't think those two are ordinary thieves. They wouldn't steal without a reason. I think they're mercenaries. And second, that's a dragon egg. It's an egg? Well, no wonder they wanted it so badly. Now, wait a minute. If it's an egg, how come it hasn't hatched yet? Well, Heather, you can't expect the egg to hatch right away. It isn't like any other egg, like with birds. It's the largest egg ever created on Earth, and it's from other dragons. And it takes like over six months for it to hatch. And who knows how long it'll take. It may take even longer than that. But the Nebula Knights, they have so many dragons, and they have so many eggs. And I don't even know where they get these eggs from. I know they get it from other dragons, but where do they get the dragons from to make more of them? They have so many dragons, and they raise so many of them, and they only bring one to fight in a great war, probably because it's the first and the oldest dragon, and it's the most powerful one. I guess each dragon has its own level. The Nebula Knights are amazing, I wonder what ever happened to the Galaxy Defenders. But I've heard that they took down Super Modulus and they saved the world like over 5 years ago, but for some reason the Galaxy Defenders have never shown themselves for a very long time. Probably because they stopped Modulus and they returned home where they belong. And besides, I think I wonder where the Guardians had got their name from. Remember the Nebula Stones? There's more than 10 of them. And I think they're called the Nebula Knights because of them. Pretty smart idea for a name, and a pretty cool one, wouldn't you agree, Heather? Yeah, I guess I can agree with that. Anyway, I think it's time I should go, Talia. It was very nice to have this time to converse with you. I hope we can talk again soon. Yeah, goodbye, Heather, and be safe on your hunt. It's hard to believe that there's more than four enchanters and that this is the most powerful one, and I also cannot believe that the Anaris clan has the fire enchanter and the air enchanter. But maybe someday, we'll be able to get the enchanters back from them and stop the Anaris clan once and for all. We showed them mercy twice, and yet they have came back to try and kill us all. We won't make the same mistake again. 
It has always been my privilege and joy to train other Nidarians how to wield enchanters like I have, even though I am the last master, even, and even though we recruited some new masters. But I know the more enchanters more than all of them, and I'll teach others what I know. And speaking about air enchanters, I wonder how Nuberus is doing by showing some children our air enchanter. Awesome, so that's an air enchanter? Indeed it is, buddy, but this isn't like any other enchanter, this is an ultra enchanter. It's one of the most powerful enchanters despite from the lightning enchanter. This really comes in handy more fighting against bad guys such as the Anaris clan. Are the Anaris clan really bad guys, Nuberus? <laughs> yes, sweetie. The Anaris clan is one of the most ruthless clans ever. They ignited wars and slaughtered our clans with monsters. Oh, and speaking about a monster... <gasps> Sorry if I scared you kids half to death. It was pretty stupid of me, but I just decided to show you guys what us Nigerian warriors have to go through while we're fighting in the Great War. And I thought it'd be pretty cool if I showed y'all. And since I'm a Nigerian warrior, this is part of my training. That way I could be the next master when Master Aurelius is through being a master. And since then, I've been training a lot. And this monster, we captured it a long time ago. And I decided to train myself with it with my bear session cops. But no need to worry, kids. As long as I'm here and my buddy behind you will be here to protect you. Got it? Um, got it. Hey, I recognize this couch. We're near Kyle's village, right, Dad? That is correct. Kyle's home is just ahead, and I bet the first thing you're gonna do when we get there is that you're gonna tell him and Scarlet about our little journey, am I right? <laughs> you got that right. This was quite an adventure, Dad. Thank you for having me along. <laughs> I would hardly call this trip an adventure, but you are most welcome. Ben, wait! <laughs>